morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, how y'all doing? It's Kaiser. And in a bit of a double whammy today of just weird things going on. So in addition to getting a verdict finally in the Jonathan Majors trial, uh, Disney also got some more bad news today when they, were, they have officially had to come out and say that Disney is a is unfortunately after many many years having to give up Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Are you serious? Yep. Disney's copyright expiring on Mickey Mouse film Steamboat Willie putting his early design in the public domain. That is 100% exactly as it sounds. So Mickey Mouse's character will now be public domain, at least the Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse character from that time period in 1928. So a lot to get into here. I went, did go ahead and pull a little bit of information from here, so we'll just go ahead and read along on that. With several asterisks, qualifications, and caveats, will, uh, <laughs> Mickey Mouse in his earliest form will be the leader of the band of characters, films, and books that will become public domain as the year turns to 2024. In a moment, many close observers thought might never come, at least not, at least one version of the quintessential piece of intellectual property and perhaps the most iconic character in American pop culture will be free from Disney's copyright as his first screen release, the 1928 short Steamboat Willie, featuring both Mickey and Minnie Mouse, becomes available for public use. Uh, U.S. law allows a copyright to be held up to 95 years for, after Congress expanded it several times during Mickey's life. Uh, current artists and creators will be able to make use of Mickey, but with major limits. It is only the more mischievous, rat-like, non-speaking Boat Captain and Steamboat Willie, that has become public. So that is a little bit of a caveat there. But, you know, people will do what they do. Disney statement said it, quote, will work to safeguard against consumer confusion caused by unauthorized uses of Mickey and other iconic characters, unquote. Yeah, uh-huh, sure. So, yeah, in a, what is basically kind of a move similar to what happened with the uh, the Winnie the Pooh uh, yeah, <laughs> stories moving into public domain, I say only just really only, but I think maybe last year, a year before. Well, now, so Disney has, you know, Disney's Mickey Mouse has joined that as well. And yeah, I don't really know what this quite bodes for the future, but honestly, it seems like it's such a banner year for Disney where they are losing over a billion dollars at the box office. They are losing money hand over fist. They can't keep anybody coming to their parks. They're embroiled in tons of legal battles and scandals and all sorts of other things and in corporate infighting with uh, Bob Iger facing off against you know Nelson Peltz and also just taking a good old-fashioned scrap at Elon Musk in the public eye. Disney has had a particularly rough year this year <laughs> in the public eye. And now one of their most iconic characters, excuse me, their most iconic character has now crossed into public domain and now pretty much is free and open source, fair game for anyone to use. So, yeah. Oh, shit's about to get... Fucky. <laughs> anyway, folks, that's all I got for today. That's all I got for now. Let me go ahead and let you know you can go down there, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I got new videos five days a week. I'm trying to get some stuff out. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>